guys, it's Spacey, and welcome to a very messy room. You can see boxes and shit behind me, because obviously, as most of you know, if you've watched any other videos, we're packing to move, so everything is a mess. You can see freaking mailing boxes and shit behind me. Let's just... This... <laughs> Nothing is helping. Anyway, um, we're sitting in a room that's got tons of boxes because this is the only room that I get any kind of natural light in. It's hot as hell in here, can I just tell you? Um, but we are going to start with the first of our Halloween videos. So welcome to October. Welcome to Spooky Month. So I don't know what my bird is doing. Anyway, um, so what <laughs> just don't mind it. Uh, what we're going to be doing is I am going to try. I have enough Halloween clothes if you've been watching over the last couple of weeks. We've opened some Halloween kind of hauls, plus I have Halloween kind of clothes that I've had for the last couple of years. And like, since I'm not going to get to wear them, I'm going to do some Halloween outfits for you. So I, my intent is to do like 31 of them because I have enough where I could probably do that many. Uh, we'll see if I can keep up with that. So that's my goal is to try to do 31 days of Halloween. Um, not going to do a video, obviously, every day, but I think what I want to try to do is on my Instagram upload one flat lay for an outfit that I put together every single day in October, starting with the first. Uh, if you're watching this video, hopefully that's happened because I think each video that I do will be like five to six outfits, um, depending on how many I can get done and then putting them all together together. So I'll have done the flat lays. So by the time you're seeing this video, five or six of them have gone up, um, depending on how many I get in the video. You know what I mean? So if you follow me on Instagram, uh, it is linked on all the different tabs and everything like that. And probably down below in the description, I think, uh, you'll have already seen these outfits possibly, or you'll get a sneak peek of the ones that we're going to do for the rest of the month. Um, but these videos will be, I'll kind of show you the outfits like in the flat lay like that I've done and set up and kind of point out and just talk about what I'm doing and then we'll put them all together and I'll actually like put makeup on and shit like that. Uh, I'm probably going to try to take a picture of myself in the outfits too for Instagram if I remember. I tend to forget that shit when I'm doing videos. Like I kind of forgot it when I did my bounding video. I was like, oh yeah, I probably should have taken pictures. There's a video. Whatever. So that's why I look like shit right now because we haven't bothered doing makeup or hair or anything like that because we're going to do it after we show you everything, but I kind of wanted to do an intro and the tiny terror is screaming like an asshole in the background. Anyway, I'm going to flip and we're going to go through each one of the outfits now. So yeah, have fun with that. I'll see you when we're putting them all on, I guess. It's so mad. Your bird friend is mad. Okay, so this is, oh my god, he is such an angry belt. So this is the first outfit. Um, this one I kind of made a long time ago. Well, not really a long time ago. I made it a couple of weeks ago. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already kind of seen it. I just redid it a little bit. So we have, um, my favorite, my tentacle skirt that I got forever ago. Oh my god, that bird is so angry. Jesus Christ. Um, I got this years and years ago. I freaking just love it, but it's perfect kind of for Halloween. I may or may not actually put on these fishnet kind of tights because they're not exactly the same matchy green um, as our striped top, which if you saw me do a unique vintage haul, you've seen me open that shirt. I bought it because I've been wanting something like this to me just screams that I need like a lime or a neon kind of green. These don't exactly match. So I'm gonna have to see what they look like on. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any green shoes that are this color. I had a pair a long time ago, but they're too small. I got rid of them ages ago. I keep looking for a pair and I never find them. So we're just gonna wear black closed toe because I don't know, open toes and stockings people seem to wear, but I just don't know if I can do it. Um, and then we just got a random accessory. So I've got my tentacle earrings here, which are perfect. Um, and then, because, you know, I've got extra piercings, so I've got some green roses. We're going to put on some fun fake glasses because we need a little flair. We've got our kind of chainmail necklace going on here. Uh, just some rings, all of our ring jewelry. And then I found some fun, like, just black, white, and then there's, like, one glittery silver um, jelly bracelet. So that will be our first 
outfit. It's maybe not the most exciting, thrilling, totally spooky holiday, but I've just been wanting to do this for a while, and it was one of the first ones that I kind of just put together, so that's the way it is. We're going to have some outfits that are just kind of normal, and we're going to have some over-the-top ones, because I do have some over-the-top hats and accessories. This one does not have a hat. I don't have a green one, so... But uh, we'll see what else happens, because this is the first one I've put together and decided for the video. Um, we're going to see what happens over the month. So we're going to have some f basic everyday wear, and then we're going to have some. You'd have to be crazy to wear that in public, but I would probably do it anyway, so. Okay, so here's number two. So this is mostly pumpkin centric, although you'll notice my jewelry, I don't have a lot of pumpkin jewelry, unfortunately. Um, and when I originally did this, uh, cause again, this is one that I did a while ago too. I did not have my pumpkin beret, but I'm going to wear that. So, um, we've got our pumpkin tights that we've, you've seen. I'm sure if you saw, I'm pretty sure it was from Unique Vintage. These shoes I got on AliExpress and I use them in our Gorel bounding. They're freaking amazing. I love the heel on them. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, and then we have our new pumpkin beret that I got, but like you'll see, I don't put berets on normal because it looks like I have no freaking forehead. So um, I have this little clip that I'm going to use to kind of clip and help hold it in place. But of course it's a spider, not a pumpkin. I didn't have a pumpkin one. Um, And then this is just like a long kind of pencil dress, but it's got a white collar and I'm going to kind of try to tuck this a uh, mini capelet that has sequin pumpkins on it in there, just for a little added effect. Again, this dress is not like Halloween, but when you put the pumpkin cape, as it is, you know? Uh, and then this little kind of, I'll put that little pin that I have on there. Uh, we've got our jewelry. So again, like I said, I don't have pumpkin jewelry, which is unfortunate. Uh, but when I was originally going to do this outfit instead of the pumpkin beret, I had a, another like fascinator kind of headpiece that had spiders on it, which is why I kind of mixed in the spiders. But I want to try the pumpkin beret on and with it and see if it works. It might not. If it doesn't, uh, you won't see that in the final, you know what I mean? Like you lay it out and you think it looks good and then you put it on together and you're like, no. So it may or may not work. We'll see. I just thought like it could kind of go, you know, with that kind of, with the color thing. I don't know. It worked in my head, but we'll see. Um, but you know, so we brought in our white coffin earrings with spiders on them. We're going to wear those. We have a teeny tiny little spider to go in our cartilage piercing. And then we have some orange rings and things like that. No bracelets or hand warmers. Oh my God, this poor thing, this poor box, so many holes in it. Anyway, so that is our second one that we will see on and we'll see if everything worked together or not. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The third one. Again, another one that I have done before. So you may have already seen it because I I took a lot of flat lays and did a lot of pictures and stuff like weeks ago, like I said. And um, uh, some of them I posted and I think I posted all of them, but some of them I think maybe I didn't. I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure I did this. This looks a little bit more blue than it is. It's like a little more of a green color, but I have had this frickin' dress for years. Oh my God. Uh, last time I tried it on, it fit. So we'll see if it does. Um, it's very hard to flat lay and show uh, because, you know, it's got the little cap sleeves, which is going to make me feel weird because I don't like my fat arms, but we're going to do the best we can because I don't think I have anything to put underneath it. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of got like all these like almost like uh, like fortune teller, kind of like almost Ouija kind of patterns, but it is hard to flat lay because it's got a high low hem. So it's kind of short in the front and then like super long in the back. So you'll see it when we actually like put it on and stuff like that, but it's freaking gorgeous. I love it. I've had it for years, never been able to wear it. Tags are still on it. Uh, just because 
it didn't fit the one year, and then I haven't gone to work in two freaking years. So, like, you know. Um, but then we have our sparkly, glittery shoes that we'll wear with it. Oh, nice. I just knocked that over. Um, we have our fancy arm warmers right there, and we have our lovely fascinator up here. Hold on, I gotta move. Oh, so I can get over here and trade. Um, but yeah, so our bat fascinator clip that we got from Unique Vintage, I'm pretty sure. We have this bat pendant. I'll put it on like a, I don't know if I'm going to try to put it into the button, you know, like button it in there or like put it on a chain or a ribbon. We'll see, but I just want to put that on there. I think it'll look cool kind of like hanging in there. Maybe we'll see if it works. Um, and then just a bunch of rings and our bat key earrings. Didn't bright, uh, pull out any earrings for the second holes or anything like that. So we'll just see if I'm wearing like any of our like black roses or any of the other ones for other like outfits if i'll keep them in or just whatever we'll see what happens so anyway there you go there's number three Okay, outfit number, are we on four or five? I think I'm getting delusional because it's so hot in this room. Anyway, so this is a long pencil dress, little bat dress. Um, I've had it for freaking forever. Also never been worn because, you know, probably got it in 2019 after ho like Halloween and then like whatever. Anyway, um, so this is our, we put it, oh, it'd be nice if the belt was actually like looked nice when it was sitting here. Uh, the bat belt that you've seen in our unique vintage haul. I've had these shoes freaking forever. It doesn't look as good in this, but they do match a little bit better in real life. But I love these shoes, but they're the hardest purple to match. They look pink in this camera light, but they are actually like a pinky purple, but not quite as pink as they look here. But anyway, this is also actually freaking purple, not pink. I don't know. But anyway, and we've done our accessories in orange to kind of accentuate. So we have our lovely skull hand pendant, you know, with the cameo and everything in it, which is mostly black and orange, obviously I'm white, but so, and then I decided, um, because this had a neckline that kind of felt like it would fit with something big like this. Uh, and this is kind of hard to pair with stuff. So I was like, all right, we'll make orange our splash of color. Cause you know, we don't have to do just one solid color. Hello. Anyway. Um, so then we have our spider fascinator, which, uh, was gonna originally go with the pumpkin outfit too, the one with the pumpkin capelet, but, so we'll see if the beret doesn't work with it, we'll be using that with that again, but and then we've got our bat moon earrings. I originally, again, this is a flat lay, this is originally a design that I did, it's so funny, a design that I did, it makes me sound fancy, but it was originally an outfit that I kind of put together a while ago, I did change out the earrings in this one, um, but then we do still have the orange roses that will accentuate. And then our, unfortunately, the rose on our little skull cameo lady there is a little peacher than orange, but like whatever. And then our giant honking orange ring, that one's new also because we didn't have that uh, when we originally did the layout. But yeah, so we'll see. And I didn't put tights with this. I do have like spider tights. I do have like... um like stripe wands. I do have different things. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Um, I didn't pick any out originally and I'm literally melting and sweating. So like this is slowly falling off the rails. I think I got to do like the flat lays and the pictures and everything. Like instead of trying to do them all at once, because holy crap, it's hot as hell in this room. Like God awful. It's like 900 degrees because the sun, but anyway, so we'll see uh, how tight, if I have a pair of tights, I might put it on with that, but this is the general idea, so. Oh, 
right, and last outfit. I think it's going to be the last one. Um, We have our nice orange and black pencil skirt that I've had for freaking years. Uh, this is, yeah, oh, that's a Voodoo Vixen. I might have gotten it at Unique Vintage. I'm not 100% sure where I got it. I've had it for years. I've also had this. This is Mod Cloth and Collective. So again, I've had this for years. It's not something that you can get. I probably either bought it from Mod Cloth or bought it from Collective. I'm not sure I shop with both of those, but uh, it's got, you know, like moons and skulls and cats and bats and all sorts of kind of spooky things just on this sheer panel along the top. And then it's kind of got almost like a corset type bustier top, but obviously not. It's like stretchy material, but you know, and then like collared and everything. So then we have our nice bright freaking orange shoes. You never think that you need orange shoes, but I do actually have three pairs of orange shoes. Go figure. And these don't get as much play unless I'm wearing the skirt because, you know, they bright orange, but, and then we do finally have a fun hat. Uh, so anyway, we'll get there. We got our hand warmer things. We've got this fun little hat. It was supposed to be on a headband, but it did break. Uh, this is, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do a video for you of Fall Hat Haul, where I go through all my hats that I got from Etsy. I know if anybody watched that original hat haul, I said I was going to, but like that video didn't get that many views. So I don't know if anybody's interested, um, but this is one that I had bought that was very relatively inexpensive. It originally had a headband on it, but the headband was like, barely hot glued and then kind of like stuck on and it kind of fell off and I was like, whatever. Uh, plus the headband, it kind of sat straight on the middle of your head and I prefer it offside. So I did glue a clip onto it, but, um, and unfortunately this little guy, the skull and the Raven kind of were broken off when I got it. Like they broke in shipping. So, and as you can see, it also kind of like right now it's doing fine, but usually like, cause I've been folding it back, that wing flaps forward, but it's actually really cute. Um, it was only $20 on Etsy, but yeah, I like it. It's cute. It's little. Um, so it'll go kind of with this. We'll put him back over there. Uh, because I kind of matched it to, say we've got our little raven kind of earrings here to kind of blend. Um, there are, there are ravens on here. This has everything. So you can match that with basically anything. We've got our pendant over here, which I will put on some kind of a chain or a um, whatever, but that kind of cameo kind of setting with the crystal. And then it's got the little bat hanging down. We've got our rings over here, our little orange ring. Again, another AliExpress one with a, our Raven ring that I think I got from Etsy a hundred years ago. Um, of course these guys again, and this ring. Oh my God. I found this digging through my shit. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is like a ring that I've had since like freaking like high school or some shit. This ring's old as shit. It was like a pinky ring, but like, you'd be like, hell yeah. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Me just, I can't back up any further. I'm actually sitting on the skirt right now because like, fuck, it's hot in this room. I think I'm going to go take a nap and then we'll put everything on. I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this video. So I don't know if by the time you've gotten to this point, I've tried on everything or what, uh, or if I'm going to do the flat lays and then we put everything on. I, I just, I don't know how I'm going to do it. So we'll, we'll see. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. So I hope you enjoyed that. This was obviously the last outfit that I put on. That's why we're still wearing it. Don't mind my hair. It's precariously falling down. Um, I think my favorite, okay, there's something about the hair color with this dress is crazy. I love this dress so much. Um, but I think my favorite outfit was probably the one with the pumpkin beret. I didn't know if that was going to work, but like when I put everything together and I put the beret on, I was like, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I loved it so much. I kind of wish it was the last one I did. Um, but based on like changing like my earrings and stuff like that, I did like, okay, well, I already put the orange ones in. Let's just do everything with, you know, the thing accessories that were kind of the same. Um, I think 
I would prefer to put this, like, with, uh, like, stockings or something, um, but I just, man, it gets hot and there gets to be a lot, so I was like, all right, fine, I just don't feel like pulling them out, um, and I just wasn't sure which ones, so, um, I didn't do stockings for anything, like, we are, like, there we go, that's a little better. I'm like, I have to stand tippy-toe to be able to be seen. Um, freaking orange hair is, it's really weird seeing it in the bright light and getting used to it. I just did it. Um, that's why I didn't do any of these videos either, because I knew I was going to do my hair. And I'm like, it's perfect for Halloween, we're going to wait. <laughs> Happy October. Uh, yeah, so I think what we'll probably do is, like I said, we're going to do like five or six outfits at a time. Um, they will... I will try to get one up a day so you'll see the flat lays and maybe probably just the flat lays. Mm -hmm. No, because I was like, I might, I, I don't know. I it, Doing everything, all the flat lays are going to go up on a daily basis. I kind of want to do the flat lays and then like a modeling shot um, that, you know, from doing the video. We'll see what happens because like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go into the level of putting so much makeup on. I probably also would if I were wearing these out or doing anything. I would actually do my makeup differently for each one. But that's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. So I guess it really depends. You might see some with the same makeup that might have different makeup. Who knows what we're going to do in the future. I don't know how we're going to do this because it's going to be a lot to do and it's a lot to film. Uh... It's really more the, like, okay, make sure I look presentable and I can put makeup and stuff on. Because, like, I can do the flat lays easy, but, you know, anyway. But I had a lot of fun doing this because, like, I like dressing up, man. And I would absolutely wear probably all of these to work. <laughs> like, um, I'm actually quite surprised that this still fits. Uh, it's not the best bra to be wearing. This bra was not the best bra to be wearing with anything. I say that about everything. I don't have any good bras and... You know, while we're in quarantine, I'm chubbier than I'd like to be. I don't feel like buying any new bras because I have 700 of them. They just don't fit right. Um, also uncomfortable. And I'm like, look, I put makeup on and got dressed up. Like, anything else is uncomfortable. But, yeah, I think the pumpkin one was my favorite. I love this dress. It's so much. And that black dress with the pumpkin beret has pockets. I don't know if I'm going to do a voiceover. Uh, for each one of the outfits, or we'll just do music. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, so it's whatever I did. So I don't know if some of the stuff you're gonna be hearing a second time, but I might do voiceover just to tell you about each outfit and like what I liked about it and stuff like that. But anyway, look forward to that. We'll do the next five outfits in a couple days. So these are not gonna go up weekly like I normally do. I'll do them every five days. Well, the sixth day. So if you're following along on Instagram, which should be down below and on the about page and like on the banner page too, there's like links everywhere. Um, you'll see the flat lay for the outfit and hopefully a modeling shot. That's my intention. Um, before you see the videos. So then you don't have to watch the videos or you might have come from Instagram to see the videos or whatever. I don't know. Uh, maybe the videos are going to have a little more thought process into what I'm doing. I mean, obviously, because you're going to see the flat lay stuff closer, but yeah, anyway. So I will see you guys again in a couple days and we'll be back for more October, I don't know. It could be like Space Tober or it's like spooky days, you know? Spacey days, spooky days. Oh, the 31 days of spooky day. That doesn't make any sense. You know, whatever. We'll be back with more stuff. And hopefully a couple of more. I have two more Halloween type, not real hauls, but I have two more things that are coming for Halloween. We'll see when they get here. Uh, they might not be until November, and then they mo might not make it into our, you know, outfits. We'll, we'll see what happens, but we do have those, and yeah. And if you have other spooky things, like ideas or things that you want to see that I could do, um, let me know. I don't know. I have, like, I, I, I don't know, but yeah. Well, but anyway, we'll be back with more fun Halloween outfits in a couple of days, so toodles! I'm sorry, wait. Spooky toodles! Spook toodles! 
Spoodles! Spoodles? That's spooky toodles. Yeah. Spoodles!